Welcome to the first video of an introductory series about developing Firefox OS. This series will specifically go over contributing to the core Firefox OS codebase, and while it may be helpful for developing your own web applications, the intended audience is people who wish to contribute code to the official Firefox OS project. In this video, we'll be going over how to set up a Firefox OS development environment so you can start hacking. We're going to specifically focus on the Firefox OS front end, which we call Gaia internally. The first step is to get the code base. You can find the code on GitHub at github.com slash mozilla-b2g slash Gaia. You're going to want to have a fork of the project, so you can submit pull requests against the main repository. You can do this by clicking the fork button at the top right. Once you have a fork of the project, you can clone the repository with the git clone command. Great, you should now have the project cloned. There are two recommended ways of running Firefox OS. The first way is on a real device. You can purchase a Firefox OS device for development, or you can flash Firefox OS onto an Android device that you own, though some hardware specific features might not work fully. You can push apps to the device with a make command. You can either use make install dash Gaia, which will install all applications or you can specify a single application with make install dash Gaia app equals calendar, for example. This would only flash the calendar app to the phone. The recommended way of developing Firefox OS is in the browser. As this is the same engine that powers the actual phone, Gecko, you should be able to do almost all of the work in a browser with only some sanity testing on the phone at the end. I would recommend downloading Firefox Nelly for this. You can find Firefox Netly at netly.mozilla.org, and you can simply select your operating system to download the binary. Once you have Firefox Netly installed, running Gaia is as simple as pointing the Firefox Netly binary to a custom profile. This profile will contain custom settings and data to help emulate running on a device. You can build a profile by typing a command such as debug equals one make inside of your Gaia folder. This will generate a custom profile inside the profile folder. On a Mac, Firefox Nightly is installed in slash applications. I'll need to run this on a command line, passing the dash profile argument followed by the profile location on disk. In my case, this is the location of the Firefox Nightly binary, and this is the location of my profile. The steps for a PC or Linux should largely be the same with some slight variations. On a PC, for example, you will likely need to use the SIGWIN library for building the project. After typing this command and pressing enter, you should see a new instance of Firefox Nelly open. As you can see, this is running the same code that runs on a device with all of the development tools. To the left, we have the interface of the phone, and to the right, we have a custom developer panel. You can interact with the mock device on the left the same way you would interact with a real device, obviously clicking instead of touching your monitor. We try to emulate as much as the phone as possible here. For example, I can press the volume up and volume down to see the same effect it would have on the device. I can press the power button at the top to make the UI feel like it's asleep, or I can press it again to wake up. Additionally, I can hold the power button to open the long menu. I'll unlock the phone now and launch an application. The final button I wanted to show you is the home button, which is on the bottom of the device. This, you, this interacts the same way as it does on a real device. I can click it a single time to go back to the home screen, or I can hold the home button down to open the task switcher. Let me open another app to show you how that works. If I hold the home button down now with two apps open, it's going to open the task switcher with a screenshot of each application. And I can switch between them by sliding my finger across the screen. You're able to quit apps from the task switcher by either pressing the X or by sliding an app up to quit the app. To the right, we have a custom developer panel with a few buttons here, which we're currently adding buttons to as we can. I can test certain things here, such as notifications. 
I can have a single button to reload an application. So if I go into messages, scroll down, I can simply reload, reload the active application. I can also take screenshots, which will save to my local pictures folder. And additionally, I can import workloads. Also, all of the standard developer tools are here. Uh, we have a web console, which is your standard web console. And there's also an element inspector, which I can inspect elements from. You might have noticed that the domain of the page that we're viewing is currently GaiaMobile.org. This is alias to your local host, and we're running an HTTP web server inside of a plugin packaged with your Gaia profile. This basically means to see changes, you can simply save any file in your Gaia checkout, reload the page, and you'll see the changes. As a subdomain of this, you can see that we have the system name here. This is specifically pointing to the Gaia system app, which resides in our app folder. Let me show you that now. So in the apps folder, there is a directory here called system, and these are all the additional apps that we have inside of Gaia. It's possible to access applications directly through the URL in this manner. So for example, I should be able to open a new tab and then type the URL for any of these applications. I'll type in SMS because it's short. We've now loaded the SMS with some stub data. This is a great way to rapidly test changes for an application, but beware, not all functionality might work here due to this no longer being run in an application context, but simply as a web page. So that's all for today. I hope these tips were helpful and we'll have more videos shortly. Thanks.